11 18 right now and we've been talking about it it is a nice week here yeah. it's not necessarily the most christmas-esque with the afternoon but nope and, and, and rob says it's even going to get warmer as the week yeah. goes on yeah, you know, we hit yeah. the low 60s yesterday afternoon. We're closer to the mid 60s here for your right. Tuesday. And then by the end of the work week, we're up into the low 70s. So, yeah, not very Christmassy here in North Alabama. Huntsville right now, we've got mostly clear skies already at 59 degrees. And it, it has been a, a warm start to December. Right now, we're at the fourth warmest December on record at 51.8 uh, degrees. And we're going to add on to that, of course, today, but really through the rest of this week. And uh, just continue to see those warmer than normal conditions. What we're seeing right Right now on the way 31 storm tracker early warning radar network dry conditions but if you look off to the west and southwest where some of these clouds are moving in from out of uh, uh, central and north mississippi even a few slight showers and sprinkles but a lot of this is weakening and falling apart the further east and northeast it heads so if you're in franklin county marion county i'm not expecting you to see any rainfall today but just a little bit more cloud cover through the next few hours day planner for today again we're going to make it up to the mid 60s here this afternoon that's about 10 degrees above average for our typical high and then dropping off, but even this evening, not that bad. You'll notice down to only 50 at 10 o'clock this evening. That's well above average for even overnight temperatures. Future radar, this is 4 o'clock here this afternoon. Just seeing some of those passing clouds from out of the west and southwest. If you look close enough, occasionally seeing a few sprinkles closer to north Mississippi, but again, a lot of those just falling apart or evaporating by the time they reach north Alabama. This is 7.30 tomorrow morning. Still a little bit chilly, but not as cold as the last few mornings. And we're just pack, tracking some passing clouds all the way through your Wednesday afternoon. But another beautiful day with even a few spots as early as tomorrow reaching 70. Pattern does start to change, though, heading through the end of this work week and into this weekend. This is a look at the rainfall forecast, and this goes all the way through Thursday night. This is 10 o'clock on Thursday evening, and you'll notice how you have that sharp cutoff. You go from about a trace up to about a tenth of an inch as you get to Muscle Shoals. So if we're going to see any rain Thursday evening, it's going to be for areas off to the northwest. Then we head through the day on Friday, and you'll notice that we add a little bit of rain for everyone, but mostly just a trace the further east and southeast you had. But look at that. Muscle Shoals already picking up an inch of rain, and this is all due to a front that's getting held up just to our northwest. Eventually that front gets kicked through and we start to see higher rainfall totals for everyone through your Saturday and Sunday. So here we go. Let's take a look at that. This is a look at future radar on Thursday. Again, that front getting held up just to our northwest, but still close enough to bring those showers to the shoals. And all the way through your Friday morning, that front still getting held up off to the north and northwest. But eventually heading into our Saturday, rain chances start to pick up. We actually get a wave of rain coming in from out of the south and southwest. Maybe a few rumbles of thunder, but we're not expecting anything strong or severe. Finally, that cold front gets kicked through and we're back to some drier weather heading into your Sunday. So there's what your Sunday forecast is. again. We're going to peak right around Friday with highs in the low 70s. There's that 20% chance of rain. It's a little bit higher if you're closer to the shoals, a little bit lower if you're closer, let's say, to Cap County. But everybody sees that better chance for rain heading through the day on Saturday. And then that starts to exit through Sunday morning. Also still keeping an eye on another system coming in on Monday. That could bring some widespread rain, but a lot of the details still getting worked out with that next system. Back to you.